Guatemalan archaeologist Francisco Estrada Belli is on his way to another pre-classic site. The rains have begun, and the roads are virtually impassable. That's one of the reasons why nobody wanted to work here, because uh, it's so hard to get here. In the rainy season, there's about two feet of water everywhere, so um, sometimes we have to use uh, horses to get in and out of the site. But the effort has been worth it. With funding from the National Geographic, it has led Francisco to a major find at another forgotten pre-classic city, Sival. So. We don't have just one large city like Mirador, but a network of cities in the Maya lowland, which existed in the pre-classics. When Francisco discovered the main temple of Sival, he found that looters had dug away the back of the pyramid. Near the top, they left a small hole. So I came here and I saw there was this opening in what looks like the front of the pyramid. And I stuck my hand here and I could feel it wasn't flat, there was a rise on the plaster. And I thought, well, maybe this is a, a snake uh, carved on the front of the, of the building, or maybe a mustache on a mask. And I thought maybe we should dig uh, and find the front of the building coming the other way. Francisco worked his way round to the front of the temple and dug a tunnel towards the center. From the looter's trench, I was touching this wall, and I felt this rise here. And it felt like a, a, some sort of decoration. I could never imagine we would cover something this wonderful. Francisco believes it is the massive face of a sun god, 10 feet tall. It's uh, almost as if uh, someone just made this yesterday. And it's, it's incredible to imagine that we're touching this and we're looking at this just as people did um, over 2,000 years ago. Two pairs of these masks may have flanked the temple stairway. Francisco thinks that they provided the backdrop for elaborate rituals in which the king impersonated the gods of creation. With godlike powers, these early Maya rulers could commission vast construction projects. <laughs> 